Oh, we are gonna have some fun today. Why? Well, you saw the title of the video, didn't you? I have myself here a 2017 Honda Civic Si. There was no 16, there was a 15, but no 16. And this 17 is the eighth iteration of the Si, which so happens to be built on the 10th generation Civic platform. And this, my friends, is the first Si, first Si, to have a turbocharged engine. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Booyah! So under the hood is a 1.5 liter direct injection turbocharged four cylinder, made it to a six speed slick shifting manual transmission which has a sport and normal drive mode i'll give you a demo about that a little bit later yes we are driving this bad boy why wouldn't we 205 horses 192 pound feet of torque this has a curb weight of 2900 pounds and check this out we are rolling on 18 inch high performance summer tires double booyah now my tester this week is a sedan but it does come in a coupe if you want to be cramped otherwise go with the sedan now the vehicle is locked so i'm just going to hold the key fob in my pocket and press the black button actually don't put don't press the button put your hand here then it opens you press that button here to lock it and when you want to get in just use this little device here you call your hand put it in the handle then it opens up. All right, let's go inside. Holy heat wave. All right, push button start. We have here a uh, seven inch multi view touchscreen display. There's that. I'm gonna pop it in reverse here because there's our six speed slick shifting manual transmission. Now into reverse, here's our multi views. So you have different angles to look behind you, look down. I'll show you that camera here in a little bit when we do the cargo volume. All right, back in a neutral. Okay, so what's so special? Well, all depends on your point of view, but uh, I like this part of it because um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable. I've been putting my phone in here and then listening to podcasts and those kind of things on the screen. So that's awesome. So smart, smartphone connection. Other good stuff here, you can learn about your car with information, trip counter, voice information, clock, and blah, blah, blah. So let's go trip counter. Perfect. Uh, previous. Let's see. Do I want to? No, no. Trip A. So here's what I'm telling you. This has a um, MPG of 28 city, 38 highway. Mixed driving number is 32-ish. Look at this bad boy right there. 33.4. I wasn't kidding about the heat. I want to turn the AC on a little bit more. So there's, there's the AC. This is kind of nice. This, you just press this button here for... Um, AC, turn it on or off and change the, the speeds of it. When you're done, hit it one more time. I'm gonna turn it down because that might be a little bit on the loud side. Hit it again. All right, heated seats, no cooled seats, but uh, or ventilated seats, no big deal. Now we do have lane watch on this Civic and there's a couple ways. You can press this button here. I'm gonna press it and you'll get a side camera that pops up here in the center that is just below the side mirror. And that, my friends, is going away next year. They're slowly phasing that out right now on some of the bigger Honda models. So what they're gonna do instead is have blind spot information uh, in the side mirrors. So that's what you're gonna have when they take that away. Just one of those things that they're, they're doing, they're phasing out, no big deal, I'm okay with it. Although I thought it was kind of fun to have that little camera there. So even if you're driving and you press that button here, you can just uh, see what's going on. Otherwise, you hit the turn signal up, and that's when it activates it. Otherwise, you can press that button in, and it activates it. So sometimes, if you're just driving down, or you're, you're not turning right, but you want to press that button, you can press a button and see what's going on. All right. Here's something that's kind of slick. They've got two cup holders here in the center, but watch this. Slide it back, and you reveal a third cup holder from some of those taller items. So this water bottle here is a good size. Now course it sticks out a little bit there slide this back drop it down and it kind of hides so kind of just uh, some fun to explore here's that sport mode for driving if you want to get a little more sporty the steering wheel mounted controls cruise control right here Bluetooth technology so when you plug your phone in you can uh, play with it that way I'm gonna show you here in the instrument cluster what this information button does so I'm gonna cycle through this right here by hitting it so I got G 
which stands for like G-Force, a stopwatch. There's your fuel, fuel gauge, settings, music, phone. You can flop it from miles per, gal miles per hour to kilometers information and back to, look at this one right here. You got some options to see how the engines work. I don't know that one as well, but I do know here's one of those, oh, right there, enter. This is pretty slick, and I'll show you this a little bit later. Those uh, lights, those little dots light up as rev indicators, so letting you know when to shift. That is pretty sweet because this is a definitely a performance vehicle for the enthusiasts out there at a great price point. Stay tuned for that one. I like how they have the SI stitched into the seat back of both the driver and passenger seat, and these seats have some major bolstering, bolstering. Squeeze you in. All right, how about some back seat legroom and headroom from a guy who is 5'11"? That's me. So this is me sitting behind myself. Impressive. Again, a sedan versus the coupe. It is seating for five in either one of those. Here is the one for the sedan. And I've got some good room behind the seat for my legs. And this is my driving position right here. So, you know, you got some plenty of room. There is no compartment for storage behind the driver, but there is some behind the passenger. So put your magazines, newspapers, laptop, iPad, that kind of stuff. There are four O-blank handles all the way around. What's an O-blank handle? You hang on to this handle right here when you're going around a corner. Instead of saying, oh, sh you say, oh, blank. Well, you say, oh, sh but I say, oh, blank, because I'm trying to keep this somewhat PG, PG-13, all right? Um, this is a 60-40 split fold-down seat, and there is an armrest right here with a pair of cup holders, so you have that option. Uh, real standard car when it comes to getting around, you know, think of it as, you know, getting from A to B, but with some style, pizzazz, some sportiness. It's an SI. With that, let's take a look at the cargo room because um, there are some differences clearly between the coupe and the sedan. Let's take a look at the sedan. Why wouldn't you take a look at the sedan? That's what it is. Now we have a kind of a cool spoiler right here. No spoiler alerts, just a spoiler along the back end of the Civic. I think this is pretty sweet. And, you know, you gotta be careful though. You don't wanna tug on this too hard because it feels like if you did, you might break it. All right, here is the backup camera. Here is the push tab underneath the Honda Icon. Press it, it comes up. There's also one here on the key fob. There's a button there on the key fob to do the same thing. So you're looking at 14.7 cubic feet of volume in the back of this sedan. It drops down quite a bit with the coupe, 11.9 if my memory serves correctly. But you can extend that, you can make it a little bit bigger, longer, because they have pull tabs right here. And this is great, pull tabs there. I have a triathlon bike, just think of it as a big 10 speed. I took the front wheel off, I was able to slide the entire bike in there for a triathlon I went to recently, and I fit it and closed the trunk. So, you got that going for you, which is nice. All right, everyone, we are behind the wheel officially driving the SI. And first thing I want to mention is that this vehicle features a limited slip differential, so for better cornering, performance, traction, safety, and across the Civic lineup, only available on the SI and Type R, and I will be driving the Type R here in a couple of months. So that's cool. And I'll give a little demonstration while I'm going around some corners here in a little bit, but there's some cool stuff in the instrument cluster which makes this a lot more fun. This is a robust vehicle to drive, great for new car enthusiasts out there who want to really feel a driving experience at a really great price. By the way, seven miles per gallon better in this version versus the one a couple of years ago. So a lot of pluses with this one. Now I'm going to go at the bottom of this hill coming up here in a second and show you this, this uh, shift indicator, which you'll see in the instrument cluster, because I've got a couple of cameras here, that's going to let you know when you want to get after it, when you should shift with this six-speed manual transmission. So I'm gonna get to that here in a second.
All right, I'm gonna take a right here and start to go up this hill. Now, when you look at the instrument cluster, this is gonna let me know when to shift the highest RPM. So, in first gear, watch what's going on. Red, 38, there's the red again. At 50 in second gear, flying up this hill. Third gear, still not quite at red. But let's stop right there. <laughs> that is awesome. This next icon in the instrument cluster has a G on it. And what it is, is showing the center of gravity in the car. So when you're driving around right now, it's obviously dead center. That means it's very well planted. This has a weight distribution about 61% front, 39% in the back. So it's not a 50-50, but it's not the point. So with this right here, when I'm starting to shift right and left, you'll see how this dot adjusts as well. Now I'm at a dead stop. Now I'm gonna accelerate. Watch the yellow dot go backwards. Well, watch it go behind us. Let's drop them back, left and right. Now I'm gonna go around the, the roundabout is what it's called. You'll be able to see the yellow dot. So it's a little bit to the left right now. I go into the corner. Now watch the yellow dot. Turning left, all the way to the right. Now I'm all over the place. Isn't that cool? I hope you can see that okay. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, the instrument cluster is a lot of fun to, to play with and really specific to this car. So if you wanna have fun with it, and I think you do, give it a shot. This is cool. So overall, driving experience, boy, handles well, responds well. This six speed, smooth shifting, manual transmission is a lot of fun. And uh, I feel like the car is a part of me. It really helps with the bolstering seats and overall great comfort, sportiness. So MSRP, listen to this, under $25,000. 2017, you haven't seen this car for a couple of years. Under $25,000, fuel economy average is 32. I've been getting better than that. Sporty, great looking, sleek, fun to drive. You better test drive it for yourself. Give it a look. Let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I love you. See you next time. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting every man driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number, 844-765-0610, and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.